What's going on guys? So I did not think I would be making this video this soon, but to give you guys a little bit of context, if you haven't seen my first ever video that I posted on YouTube, you need to go back and watch it because in that video, I set a goal for myself to take my brand new Amazon business at the time from zero to $50,000 a month. And I gave myself 12 months to hit that goal. So ladies and gentlemen, I have set a new goal for myself to take my brand new Amazon FBA business from zero to $50,000 a month in revenue within the next 12 months. 50,000 is the first challenge I've set for myself, but obviously I'd love to get a lot further than that. And so that was about five months ago now. And I can officially say that I have passed the $50,000 mark, which is, which is crazy to think about because, um, I mean, first of all, I gave myself 12 months and I ended up doing it five. I knew I was going to hit it, but I didn't think it was going to happen this fast. And it's been, I mean, it's been a journey for sure. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know, the first month I only did $1,600 in sales. So literally from 1600 to 50,000 in four months is, um, it's a very good feeling guys. I feel very proud for sure. Um, not so much about the dollar amount, but more about the fact of saying you're going to do something and then actually accomplishing it, especially, you know, putting it out there and saying, Hey, this is my goal. And then freaking hitting it is it's a very good feeling guys. It's a very good feeling. So very, definitely very proud. But in this video, I wanted to chat about some of the lessons I learned along the way and, um, things that I think maybe you guys could use to, take into your business as well. So before I made this video, I was trying to think, okay, well, what should I discuss in this video? And I thought, okay, well, maybe I can go over some of the challenges. And then I thought about it guys. And I really didn't have any challenges. And I'm, I know that sounds, you're probably thinking like, what the hell, what do you mean? You didn't have any challenges, but it really wasn't that difficult. And the reason I'm saying this is because I'm not trying to come across as cocky. I'm just trying to literally tell you guys that it's not that freaking difficult and anybody can do it, including you watching this video. Um, I didn't, you know, do anything special besides just pick a product, take good pictures and get it to the first page. I mean, that's pretty much what Amazon is. I think anybody who knows Amazon, that's pretty much the summary of what you need to do. So each of those steps is not that difficult. I've already made a video on how to pick the right product. If you guys just go watch my video, you can see like literally what I said in that video is exactly what I do. And maybe in the future I can make some videos on how to take good pictures. And, but I mean, you can literally just look at other listings that are doing well and see what kind of pictures they have and just copy that. And then obviously there's ranking it, um, which is just a matter of doing PPC, but it's not rocket science guys. Um, like once you understand that process and you just rinse and repeat, like it's just, a matter, it's just a matter of time until you become successful. So I'm not going to sit here and say it was challenging. And I don't want you guys to think that I have something special that you don't have, or, um, you know, all these other Amazon gurus have something special. You don't have, they're all just freaking regular humans like me and you. So, I mean, if they can do it, we can also accomplish it. That's the way I look at it. And I didn't, yeah. So I didn't really think it was that challenging. I mean, not all my products did well. So I did launch a total of five products out of those five products. The first three actually, I don't want to say failed, but they weren't successful and I'm going to discontinue probably all three of them. So you could look at that and say, well, that's, you know, most people probably would have quit, but I, I launched the first three products. They didn't do well. And then my last final two products are the ones that made up majority of this $50,000, actually pretty much like 95% of it. So I guess most people probably would have given up on those first three, but I didn't because I know the process works and I know that if I'm just consistent with it, eventually I'll be successful, right? So I knew I was going to hit the goal of 50,000. I didn't know how soon I was going to hit it, but I knew if I was just consistent and kept at it, I would eventually hit it. So that's my first lesson to you guys is it's not that hard. You just need to start and you need to start as soon as possible and stop being scared of failing. Don't think you need to know everything, right? You're gonna learn a lot. Obviously, if you watch these videos, I'll try to put out as much information as, as I can. You're gonna gain knowledge, but you're gonna learn the most is when you actually launch the product. And I've made videos on how to launch products um, cost efficiently. So obviously, Amazon's not really a business that you can start with zero money down. There's gonna always be some risk to it, but I've made videos on how you can minimize your risk so you try not to lose as much money as possible. That way you can learn and you can keep trying and trying again, right? Even if your first product doesn't succeed guys and you lose like 3000, 5000 
launch another one, right? Let's just say you've lost a total of $15,000. You've launched three products. You lost all three of those products and you, or you failed all three of those products. You lost $15,000. If your fourth product does well and you start making $50,000 a month, you've just made all your money back. So there's really not that much of a risk. I think there's more risk in not actually launching a product because if you don't launch a product, you've pretty much cemented the fact that you're not gonna have everything you want in life. You're just gonna stay where you are, which I'm guessing you're probably not happy with. But anyways, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm saying I wasn't happy with where I am and I did something about it. So that's what I think you need to do. Um, that's just my mentality. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. And the second thing I wanted to talk about was um, something that I implemented a mindset that I implemented this time around with this goal that I haven't really done with other goals, um, or at least the last time I was doing my Amazon FBA business, and that was I became fully obsessed with this goal and full, fully obsessed with accomplishing this goal. And what I mean by that is I literally cut anything. I, I thought to myself when I set this goal, I'm going to, whatever it doesn't help me get closer to this goal, I'm not gonna do. So I literally stopped hanging out with my friends, stopped going out, stopped doing all the other bullshit in life pretty much. Like anything that wasn't getting me towards where I needed to go, I stopped doing. Um, my daily schedule consisted of literally waking up, going to the gym, coming home, working all day. And then in the evenings, I trained boxing. So I'd go boxing and that was kind of like my one thing that I could do that was fun and would stop me from being completely bored and going crazy. So I'd go boxing, come home, eat dinner, go to sleep, r repeat. Um, obviously once a week, I'd see my girlfriend, we'd do something. And once a week I'd go visit my parents and my grandparents. And that was it, that was my schedule. Anything else, I just said, no, sorry, don't have time for it. And the reason I did this was because I thought to myself, if I can just completely obsess over something for the next six months or next 12 months, I'm guessing I could probably achieve a lot with it because I'm gonna have, not have any distractions, right? Before this, what I, what I think I did and I think a lot of people do is they would try to do something and then they'd do it for like three, four days consistently and then they'd slack off for like three days because they think they earned the day off or something, right? But it, what ends up happening is you take one step forward and then two steps back. It's like going to the gym all the time but then you're eating shitty food. It's like you're kind of just, what, what the hell's the point? Um, so that was something I really did and I, I'm, I think I'm living proof, guys, that it, it freaking worked. Um, I was able to achieve a, a goal that I thought would take me 12 months within five months, which is freaking still crazy to me to say, but now I think I'm like, well, if I could do that in five months, what can I actually do in 12 months? So now let's see where, I, where I'm at in 12 months of where I've set that goal because I think over the next six months, I'm gonna set another goal and I'm gonna do the same type of focus and it's gonna be, yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna do the same kind of focus and I'm very excited to see where I end up. So yeah, I don't wanna rant on too much about that guys, but to sum it all up, it, I wanna just say that it's not that difficult guys. If you wanna get into this business, I highly suggest just starting. Um, get your feet wet, just start as soon as you can because that's the only way you're gonna learn. Don't be scared of failing because honestly, failing is just part of the journey. And if you are gonna to commit to this business, commit to it fully, don't just half-ass it. If you're gonna come into this, or if you're gonna do anything, not just this business, any type of business, just commit to it fully for a six month period of time and I promise you, you're gonna be able to get a lot farther than you would have imagined. And other than that, guys, I wanna just say thank you so much for your support along this journey. When I started this channel, obviously I had zero subscribers and now I'm around 150, 160 something. So still obviously not a lot, but I just wanna say that I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. And I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys as well on my Instagram and it's super cool to chat with you guys. I'm more than happy to answer any of your guys' questions. So if you wanna send me a message on Instagram, uh, Instagram is in the description below. But I'm feeling very, very motivated and I kinda of wish I documented this journey a little bit more, um, getting to that zero to 50,000, but it's inspired me to make a lot more videos uh, coming and documenting the journey going forward. And another thing I wanna say, guys, that this is just the beginning of the journey. You know, 50,000 was not my end goal. It was literally just the first step. And now I've got some, some bigger goals in sight. I'm gonna take a couple of weeks to just analyze and see where I wanna take this business. And then I'm gonna make another video on what my next goal is, but wanna just say thank you guys for being along for the journey and appreciate all your support. If you're just watching this video for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. And there's a lot more to come guys. So thank you again very much. I will see you guys on the next one.